Hey, Karen Jones here from The Heart Matters with this issue of Scrumptious Relationships. And today we're gonna to talk about blended families and having stepkids. I was having a chat with a great old friend the other day and uh, she was <laughs> venting about the situation with her stepkids. And you know, we had a really good conversation about the challenge of being a step parent because you end up with a lot of responsibility without really any authority. So if you have that situation going on, just give yourself a break. Understand that, yeah, in fact, this can be a very, very difficult situation. In fact, it's one of the biggest reasons why second marriages don't make it and third marriages. But you can do this because once you really get clear about what your job is really, um, it just makes things so much easier, right? You're not that those kids' parent. You are your man's woman, you know, wife, girlfriend, whatever. So if you play this card right, number one priority is you're his ally, you're his partner, you're his helpmate, you're on his side, you're on his team to help him be the best father that he can be. And you are going to be dealing with a man who for the most part, most of these men have horrible, horrible guilt and terrible burden of responsibility for that those children should never have gone through losing their intact original family, right? That they know that the kids suffer and they take on so much of that responsibility and blame, which can lead to they're too permissive, they're too lenient, they give too much, they're too much at the kids beck and call, you know, all those things. You know what, I'm sure you've seen these kinds of things happen. So remember, if you stay really clear about what your number one priority is, which is to be his partner and to see the places where, you know, he's whatever, he's confused, he's hurting, he's on autopilot, he's, right, just bring compassion, bring understanding. You're in this for the long haul, right? You're with this guy forever. So if you're in the middle of something, don't expect that you can get it fixed overnight. There's a lot of stuff going on here. You're his partner. What does that tell you to do? How can you be his best supporter to have happen what he wants to have happen for those kids? Because when he trusts you to be on his team, he's gonna be way more likely to listen to your input. But if he thinks that you are judging him or you're competing with his kids, ah, danger, danger. That will not work. Will not, and you don't want it to work. One of the reasons you love him is because he's a great dad, right? So that's your assignment should you choose to accept it. Get on his team. Support him to be the kind of dad he wants to be. And let those kids go. They're not really your responsibility in the same way that, as if you were their mother, right? I hope that makes sense. If not, let's talk, all right? So until next time, have a great couple of weeks.